New this morning, learning the sounds of fire safety is the focus this year for Fire Prevention Week. 10 News reporter Brittany Weir joins us live to tell us the different sounds your fire alarm makes and what each sound means. I never really knew there was a difference, Brittany. Yeah, I'm always hearing them in my house and my uh -huh. apartment, so I'm glad now we've got a clear answer. So from those beeps and those chirps, like you said, your fire alarm can make a lot of different sounds. Well, this year's Fire Prevention Week campaign focuses on those sounds and what those sounds mean. So if your alarm begins to chirp, it may mean that the batteries are running low and you need to be replace them. Well, if the alarm continues to chirp after that and you replace the batteries or the alarm is more than 10 years old, it's time to replace the alarm altogether. But then if you hear constant beeps, that means the alarm has detected smoke and it's time to exit the building or home as quick as possible. Well, Fire Prevention Week is the longest running public health and safety week on record and gives fire departments the opportunity to work together and educate the public. We try to do this year year round, but with it being uh, National Fire Prevention Week, it's a chance for uh, all the departments to come together and get the same message out at one time. The campaign also addresses ways to help those who are deaf or hard of hearing. And if there is someone in your household who won't be able to hear a smoke alarm, the NFPA recommends installing bed shakers and stroke light alarms that will alert the person to the fire. So if you would like more information about Fire Prevention Week or this year's theme, you can visit our website, WSLS.com. Brittany Weir, 10 News, working for you.